Hi everyone, welcome to NICU Diaries. In the earlier episode, we have discussed about NICU team, condition and management. Let us know more about it. Thus, the NICU team has specialized training to tend to newborns, particularly nursing staff. So, as we know that the nursing staff are the important uh, pillars of all the healthcare uh, providers. And especially it's uh, true, very true with the ICU care, so they need to be on their toes all the times. And uh, the feeding also is very, very important for the smaller babies. So yes, they especially need uh, special training in uh, looking after the smaller babies. Uh, sometimes we at least recruit the, uh, the at least for one year when they are entering into our energy so that the care for the preterms is not happening. Can you discuss the various technologies and equipment used in NICU to support neonatal care? Most of intensive cares, what we use, uh, we are guided by uh, the information available from various technologies. And uh, over the last 20 to 30 years, for the last two, three decades, uh, uh, the IT has revolutionized how the ICU is working. So, uh, starting from the ventilator, starting from all our equipments, uh, including the, let's say, echo machines or head scan machine or all the infusion pump are all technology driven. And we have a central monitor where we can see all this information. So, technology is definitely modifying the healthcare and uh, it is definitely helping the healthcare to achieve better quality of care. Is NICU painful? Uh, most babies in NICU may not need uh, very intensive care and invasive procedures as such. Uh, if such a need is there, then uh, procedures will be performed with appropriate uh, sedation and uh, pain relief. If you have seen some videos of babies being cared for uh, in the NICU, it may be frightening for parents. You know, for parents and onlookers, it might look like babies are going through a lot of pain. But actually, uh, we train all the staff not to uh, do procedures at all times or do it with minimal invasiveness and with proper use of uh, sedation. So, all in all, uh, we will try and do the procedures you know, so as uh, uh, community as possible for the babies to get enough rest and also in a, as painless manner as possible. How do we ensure optimal care for premature infants in terms of nutrition and growth? Uh, nutrition is very important for the preterms as well as the term babies. Most times, uh, if the preterms are delivered, uh, they won't be able to tolerate the breast milk in the early phase of life. So initially we start with uh, something called as uh, parental nutrition which includes uh, uh, giving the proteins and then the lipids and then the glucose for the babies. And along with that we do add on the breast milk. Most times we do prefer the breast milk and uh, as the baby starts tolerating the breast milk, the breast milk will be advanced and then the uh, lipid proportions and the protein proportions will start coming down. The next question, what are the most common medical condition and challenges you encounter in the NICU? So for NICU, the main uh, medical conditions what we see is preterm babies. So any baby who is born below 34 weeks, uh, most of them will be admitted to NICU. And then second important common condition we see is babies who have some breathing difficulties for various reasons. These are the most common conditions what we see. Apart from that, there will be some conditions which we pick up antenatally. So, child might have a problem with the heart, child might have a problem with their tummy or with the brain or so on. So, we pick up these conditions. These are the common admissions. But pre prematurity is the main condition what we see in NICU at this point. Thank you doctors for giving your valuable time and sharing insight about NICU. See you in next episode.